Hello guys, my name is Black Pencil. And my name is Mini Chocolate Cake, or Chocolate Cake, or MCC for short. You, whatever you can call me like that. Well, anyways, we go one of the amazing ideas. And that any object has never done before. And we done a teapot after math. That was one of the coolest ideas that we ever got. Yes, MCC. So anyways, we got also a surprise. Take a hint. I'll give you a couple seconds. Our BFB fellows that didn't compete in teapot. And they are Balloony, Spongy, Ruby, Loser, Taco, Bubble, Blocky, Woody, Profily, Lollipop, Gelatin, and Flower. Wait, before we start on this, where is Fiery and Leafy? They are basically searching an island and make it their dream island and wonder where they're going. Anyways, I have a question. What happened to Teardrop? You might know this. She's competing in Teapot. And let's not waste any time and let's meet our first guest. Our first guest is Pi. Anyways, what was your experience on Teapot? And what do you do on there? Well, I didn't do too much. I at least do did one challenge and I actually just got eliminated. I have no idea what I done there and the only thing I actually knew is that I did at least one challenge. But, well, you know me. I actually did very neutral. Well, to not make this overly boring, we're gonna do something cool. Truth or punch. <laughs> Anyways, first question. Do you serious why did you want to join Teapot? Well, just to have fun with the power, I actually think it was way better than than the BFDI or BFB. I it was gonna be seriously fun with having that power. Oh, okay. Let's see on this never before seen scene of Tipa 1. Wow, like literally having that power will be making so much fun. Like giving fun to everyone. But, anyways, am I gonna stay on the same team with the Death Pactors or not? Actually, I was deciding that until 3 decided to, to want to stay at the same team. And guess what? I literally accepted. Okay, now we get it. Anyways, do you want it to get development on Teapot? Well, to see, I actually didn't want it to get screen time. I always keep getting screen time, but... Okay, okay, I wanted to get... I wanted to get seriously too much screen time, but people keep interrupting me ju just to get farther in the game, but... But my famousity... I mean, my popularity didn't actually make it to so far. Wow, in this first episode of the Aftermath, looks like we're getting much fun now. Literally, we're getting, having a good job. Time to get many fun later, because the next guest is Foldy! How do you do it in this season? I think you did it perfectly, but you got second eliminated and not very surprised. So, what was your entire experience on Teapot? Well, I did it neutral. I have fun with my friends on the strongest team on Earth, but I dislike when Snowball was on our team, but I started liking it for some reason. Well, anyways, I still have many fun but I needed to deal with the basketball and Nagy drama all in one time until I got eliminated. And I actually didn't understand why, why Belle was trying to avoid me so lately. I actually didn't understand. Well, I'm glad that you say that, because in this never-before-seen, 
a person on YouTube literally recorded, goes to subscribe to them and credits to them. So, anyways, here's the scene that that a boy literally recorded. Now, what's with you avoiding me lately? Whenever I do try to come near you, I thought we were friends. You've been wanting to get your revenge on Ians ever since Stapy got eliminated all those years ago. They got Stapy eliminated. So what, Foldy? Stapy was already cheating on his own in that episode, so it's his own fault for getting himself eliminated. You've been so blinded by your desire to avenge Stapy that you probably forgot the full story of that day. Stapy was cheating, Match only made sure her team would be safe, and even when you got Ians up for elimination and got Match eliminated, you're still going after the rest of the Ions members that are still in T-Bot? Doesn't that sound like it's too much for just getting Stapy eliminated? You don't understand. What? Me and Stapy have been friends ever since we first met. He was the one to help me whenever Lai caused me any problems. He was the one to support me when I was alone and sad. He was the only light I had in my life. So when Stapy got eliminated, I felt a lot of things, but mostly fear. I was scared to be alone again without him. You may not have a friend like that Bell, but I do. And when he left, you have no idea how alone I felt. It's also why I'm glad you approached me and befriended me, I would have felt so lost during all this time. Oh my gosh, this scene is so sad. <laughs> okay, I admit it, this is so sad. Anyways, let's put, to make ourselves calmed, we're gonna put the Teapot Biggest Fails, also known as that is gonna leave a mark. I wanna prefer calling that. Look out! Wasn't there a bush here? Tennis ball! Ah! She's disarmed! Looks like we're now calmed, and with those funny fails, I'll. And I think I actually noticed that those are only Tipa 2 fails or deaths. But but there's more deaths than that. Well, whatever. Now we're calmed. And let's meet our next guest. The one who is watery, really fluffy, and one who is very sharp. Meet Cloudy and Saw. <gasps> it's my friend Cloudy. Hi, Cloudy. Alright, so what was your guys' experience in in Teapot? And so what is the main problem with the eight thingy? My experience was kinda good. I literally have fun except <laughs> Lollipop and Taco wasn't here and hi Lollipop and Taco I can see you guys. I mean your girls, obviously because you two are girls. Well anyways, and about the eight, that happened when I I smell those fumes of Abel, and now I can all just do this, just anything that can rhyme with date, be eight, and yeah. Alright, Cloudy, now it's your turn. What is your experience? My experience was all good, except Baloney was not in there. It was in BFB. Imagine what would have happened if Baloney joined with me and Teapot. Well, anyways, everything was so cool. It would have been fun if I had got that power, but sadly I didn't got it. Why people will not save someone like me? I'm literally cool, right? Yeah, you're cool, and we all know that. And now, it's turn for our last guest, Naily and Remote. Uh, hello? I said alien remote. Maybe something is happening on the backstage. Let's see what is going on. Um, remote? You know, you can't just stay in the backstage forever. We need to go. They're calling us. It's not that is because I am so worried that I'm hated since people didn't save Maine. Don't say that. You're loved. You have many fans. Like you have so much haters, but look, you got more fans than haters. <laughs> People save you in Tipa One. Don't don't say that you're fa you're a fan favorite. Thanks, Nelly. You're so nice. And even I think of something, I controls it instead of remoted it is way better than that. 
Okay, boys, I mean girls, because Remote and Nelly are a female. Well, anyways, Remote, what was your entire experience on T-Bot? My entire experience was so nice. I made pillow to not kill anyone and I think everything was good. I think also that my elimination wasn't fair. Yeah, I think your elimination was seriously unfair. We thought Finny was going to get alone here. Anyways, and Nelly, what about your experience? My experience was so good, I literally meet someone who is priced that, that can do the cat face just like me. And it was kind of fun. Literally, the entire their game was so fun. I literally helped every single challenge, well, some of them, and it's so cool. Wow, this is was literally, sorry if we couldn't play any games with you, it's because we made seriously the episode so long. Well, there's gonna be more on the next teapot aftermath. And that idea was so cool, we did it.